Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing this video for all of you glasses wearers out there. I wear glasses and I wear them probably 60% of the time. If I have days that I have really bad allergies or if my eyes are bothering me, I'm usually wearing glasses and I have so many different pairs because I love them so much. So I'm gonna be sharing those with you guys today as well as a bunch of different lip options. This look is so versatile that you could wear it with glasses, without, with this bright lip color or with something nude, you could wear it so many different ways. So if you guys like this look, don't forget to like it, subscribe, and share this video with any friends that wear glasses. And if you guys wanna know how to get this look, then just keep on watching. All right, so to get started, we're gonna prime our skin. And I do not have my glasses on right now because I am nearsighted. So things that are far away are very blurry for me, but it's gotten pretty bad to where I really can't see all that well up close either. So I have my contacts in for now. And at the end of this tutorial, I'm gonna take them out and wear my glasses just to be safe and make sure this look comes out pretty good. I am going to wear my contacts for the remainder of this tutorial. So for primer today, I'm gonna go in with the Becca Backlit Priming Filter. This is my favorite primer and I use this in every tutorial usually and you could use any primer that works with your skin type I'm just using this one because it is my favorite one and now I'm going to apply the Tarte Timeless Primer on the sides of my nose what this is gonna do is it's gonna prevent my glasses from kind of sitting into my foundation the less product you use on your nose the better and you won't have any issues so for foundation we're gonna go in with the L'Oreal True Match in W3 and I'm just gonna use a little bit of this and apply it around my face I'm gonna concentrate most of it kind of on the outer portion of my face and as I get into the inner portion I'm gonna kind of thin it out because that's where the glasses are resting and that's where most of that dentation and all of that messing up of your makeup really happens. If you put too much product on, it's going to get messed up from your glasses. I would recommend using a brush to apply your foundation if you wear glasses because this will really work in the product and using a beauty blender, it kind of just sits on top of the skin. And for those of you who don't own the Artiste brushes, I have a dupe video coming up really soon that I think you will be super interested in. It's featuring a brush set that is a dupe of the Artiste brushes. They're very, very affordable, and I think you guys will love that video. I just love these brushes because I've never really tried a brush that blends the makeup into the skin so well. It's so seamless, and I actually feel that it makes it even more long wearing. So that's why I always use these now. So now I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape, and this this is a very matte concealer and there's not many concealers that are like this. This is full coverage and matte and it really doesn't crease on me at all. So this is perfect if you wear glasses. This isn't going to settle into any lines or get messed up if you're wearing glasses. You just really need to get something that's matte and I would avoid dewy concealers at all costs because that's gonna get messed up really quickly if you wear glasses. So I like to go in with my Artiste brush and just kind of buff this out. So now you're gonna wanna go in and set everything and I'm using the Cody Airspun Powder to bake underneath the eyes. And the reason why I'm baking is because baking is great if you're looking for long wear. And it also soaks up any moisture and you really don't want any moisture on your face if you're wearing glasses. And that's unfortunate for those of you who do love that dewy look, but this is what's really gonna keep your makeup on. And I just feel like matte is the way to go if you do wear glasses. So now I'm just gonna go in and brush away the excess powder. So now you're gonna wanna go in and set your face with a powder. And I just love setting my face with powder. It gives you an airbrush finish. And it also really bulletproofs your makeup. I am using the Urban Decay Ultra HD Definition Powder and it looks like this. This is the best powder that I have ever used and I cannot find anything better. I love it and it just looks amazing. You also really wanna powder your nose because this is gonna prevent any oil from rising to the surface. And the powder will really get to that oil before it gets on top of your skin. And it just really prevents any thing from getting super dewy. I feel like brows are a really important part when you're wearing glasses. They do show quite a bit and if you can fill them in I think that really makes such a difference and it gives you back definition to your face and I just feel like brows are super important in general so I wouldn't skip the step if you wear glasses. I'm using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and this is like my favorite brow pencil ever. I think it's amazing and I'm using it in shade 5 and I'm also just going to go in with some powder lightly to fill in any of the sparse areas. And now that I have filled them in, I'm gonna go in and set them with the Benefit Ready Set Brow Gel. And this is just a clear, this will keep them in place all day and they won't move around. 
So now that we've got our brows on, let's move on to the eye look. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is to prime your eyelids, and I'm using the NYX Above and Beyond Concealer to do that first. So whether you're going to work or to school or to college, or if you just are wanting to keep your makeup on all day long, priming your lid is going to ensure that. The palette we're using today is the NYX Avant Pop Palette. And I'm first gonna pick up this really pretty peachy shade right here. So I'm just kind of circling that color right into the crease area. And you're just gonna wanna go back in a few times with that color to kind of build up that peach shade that we're going for. This palette is one of my favorite drugstore palettes ever. I just love it. So I'm now taking that same color and I'm bringing this down into the lower lash line as well. And I'm just kind of connecting the two. So now I'm gonna go in with this dark brown and kind of buff this into the crease a little bit for some more definition. And I'm just gonna keep this on the outer corner of the eye and kind of bring it inward. I'm also gonna do the same thing as before and take some of the brown and kind of bring it down into the lower lash line. And then you can kind of go back in with your blending brush and just kind of blend everything together a little bit more. Now for the lid color, you could use any color you want, but I am gonna go in with the lightest shade that's really shimmery and apply this directly to the lid. And I did spray my brush with a little bit of some moisture spray to make sure that this color comes out really, really pigmented and vibrant. And by adding in this light color into the inner part of the eye, it's really gonna open it up and keep it very big and not closed off. And now I'm just going back in with a little bit of the brown to kind of blend it a little bit. I'm next gonna take this matte white and apply this to the brow bone. This is just gonna highlight the brow bone and kind of raise the eye up a little bit. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the dark purple and align the lower lash line. I'm just gonna bring this really, really close to the lash line. All right, so now I'm going to apply a wing and I'm using the Tarte Double Take Liner. And I'm gonna start out small first and just build. So I did go for a more bold, thicker wing, but you could go as thin or as thick as you'd like. If you're going to work, you could skip this wing altogether or do whatever you'd like. I just wanted to do something a little bit trendy with this eye look since we are wearing glasses. This will really elongate our eyes and bring them out more. And just for a little bit of definition, just a little bit more, I'm gonna go in with the black. You just wanna kind of start this right at the bridge of your wing and bring that color up. And this black shadow I'm using is by Anastasia Beverly Hills, but you could use any black shadow that you own to do this. So now I'm lining my waterline with a nude liner and this is really gonna open up the eyes. If you use a dark liner, it kind of closes off the eye. So I would suggest using a nude if you're wearing glasses. For mascara, I'm using the Rimmel Lash Colorist and this is awesome because it actually tints your lashes after two weeks and I haven't noticed a whole lot yet, but I've only used it for about a week and a half. So I'm gonna keep using it to see if it does that. But I love it, it has an amazing brush and it's just really good, it's really black too. And I would definitely apply some mascara to the lower lashes as well because this will really open up your eyes. So for lashes, I found some very short lashes that were actually pretty thick, so I'm gonna try these. And I know some of you might be uncomfortable with wearing lashes with your glasses. You definitely don't have to, but for those of you that do want to, these are pretty short. They are thick, but they're short, which is great, so they won't press up against the lenses. So these lashes are the Eyler Volume Multi-Pack in number 083, a short but plentiful lash for a smooth, balanced look and they look like this, so they're really nice to wear with glasses. As you can see, they are pretty short, but they're so pretty. Like, I really like them with this look. You can definitely notice them, but they're not too much, which is great. So if you take an eyelash curler and lightly, lightly, just kind of bend up the edge of the lash, not your lashes, but the edge of the lash, the lash will flip up a little bit and it will not press up against your glasses. I would just be really careful and try to not use that on your lash, just only the tip of the lash. And just to make sure that they blend together seamlessly, I'm applying some more mascara to the base of the lashes. All right, so now we're gonna bronze and warm up the skin. I'm using the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer to kind of add some warmth and also kind of contour a little bit. And I'm just gonna keep this right at the top of the cheekbone and kind of bring it down into the hollows of my cheeks. So you wanna place your contour right where your glasses kind of go right over your ear. It's okay to bring it down a little bit because this area is kind of covered by your glasses. So you can definitely bring this a little bit lower. If you go up a little bit too high, you won't be able to see it. So I'm just kind of applying this around my face and I am gonna skip the nose contour today because I really want to avoid putting a lot of products on the nose area. So now I'm going in with the NYX Highlight and Contour Palette, and I'm gonna take this light shade right here, and I'm going to apply this underneath my eyes. This is just gonna kind of brighten everything under that area. 
So for blush, I'm going in with a blush that I love. I love these Milani Baked Blushes, and I'm using the shade Berry Amour. This one is so pretty, and I'm just going to apply it kind of on the backs of the cheeks. I'm not going to bring it forward too much. This will be really pretty, um, you know, when you're looking to the side and people are looking at your glasses, they can see your blush, and this kind of has like a shimmer in it as well. For highlight, I'm going to use the Tartist Pro Glow Palette. And I'm trying to decide what color I want because these are so pretty. Hmm. I'm kind of feeling this shade called Stunner. But the first thing I'm gonna do is spray my face with this Cinema Secrets Moisture Spray. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna make the highlight apply so much brighter, so much more pigmented if I kind of wet my face first. So I'm just gonna lightly spray. Lightly. And I'm gonna pick up that shade Stunner extra. You gotta hold the brush like that. The pinky that's just kind of hanging out. Yes. I have a little box I keep my glasses in and I have a couple different styles so I'm gonna share them with you guys. So these ones I have on, I wear these ones a lot. These are one of my favorite pairs that I own and if I'm looking down really weird right now it's because if I look up I get all this light in my face. So I'm just gonna kind of keep my head down a little bit so you guys can kind of see how the makeup looks with the glasses. This is another pair that I wear very very often and I really love these I love the shape of them and I love how thick they are they're definitely ones that I wear a lot I'm feeling myself in these glasses with this makeup I never ever really wear makeup with my glasses I normally just don't have any on so I actually am like damn damn who is that all right an important step before I put my glasses on and I am really blind right now so I don't even know where to look I'm gonna spray my face with the urban decay all-nighter makeup setting spray this is gonna keep our makeup on all day long and for those of you that are going to work or school, this will ensure that it stays on. All right, so now that I've got my glasses on, I'm gonna show you guys some lip colors that are just beautiful with glasses. This color is called Palm Beach by Ofra. This one's definitely one of my top favorites, and I have a code with Ofra. If you do end up buying this lipstick, it's Victoria Lynn, so be sure to use it. It will save you some money. Another great one that I wear a lot is Candy K by Kylie Cosmetics. This color is also really nice for work or for school. It's very subtle, very natural, and this is like one of my go-to lipsticks. Another great color is purple, and this is by Kat Von D. It's in the shade L-U-V. I definitely love this one. This is one of my favorites. This next one is probably my favorite red ever. This is by Jeffree Star and it's in the shade Red Rum. I definitely love this one too because it really pops and I think red looks really pretty with this type of look because it's very sophisticated. It makes it kind of like a night look almost if you wore red. And I do like it with the black frames. I think it's really pretty. This next color is definitely a fall color. This is in the shade Queens by Ofra. And this is the last lip color. As you can see, it looks good with this makeup look. And I think that this look really could go with any lip color that you would like to wear. That's why I wanted to show you guys all these options. And I love every single one of them and I hope that you did too. All right, beauties, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorials for all of you glasses wearers. I hope this helped you out and I really love doing this. I wear my glasses so much and I never thought of doing this. So I wanna thank Elizabeth Ford for giving me this idea. She's one of my subscribers, she's amazing. And she emailed me about this a while ago. So I just wanted to say thank you and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped all of you. So if you like this video and you like the way this look came out be sure to like it subscribe and share this video with any of your friends that wear glasses because i definitely think they'll love it and hey maybe they'll subscribe to me so be sure to share with them thank you all for watching today and i will see you all in my next tutorial